Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Nicholas, please. Chopper 5, everyone! Chopper 5! <laughs> Storytelling with shopping worlds, showing different content on different devices, quick view in the product list to show the most important details of the product, create your own banner using digital publishing, and maintain everything in one place with help of drag and drop. This is Shopper 5, emotional shopping on any device. <laughs> yeah, that all was announced with a big bang eight years ago in 2015 uh, with, a, yeah, with a real cinematic movie uh, and a tour to the biggest cities where we uh, show it in the theaters. Um, here you can see the movie poster and me having a Coke and some popcorn at the movie premiere in Münster. And yeah, that was a big bang eight years ago. And now look where we are. <coughs> having again the Shopware Community Day here in Duisburg with you wonderful people. But let's be honest. This all would not have been possible with, without the massive success of Shopware 5. But all good things come to an end. And here we are now. One last time, I have the big honor to announce the last big thing. The end of life of Shopware 5. After then, over nine years, Shopware 5 will no longer get updates from us from Shopware. July the 31st next year will be the day. But what does that actually mean? <laughs> By the end of July uh, this year, we will no longer provide bug fixes and improvements. Until then, we will release one or two other releases, the last ones. Maybe more if I fiddle around with uh, Peach Beats then again too much and uh, unintentionally introduce some PHP type error. Sorry for that. <laughs> but after that, we will only do fixes for security relevant issues for another year and until the set date next year in July. But what happens after that? Is Shopware 5 dead? No, not really. Fortunately, not. There are two ways how Shopware 5 will be kept alive, and at least for some time. The first one is a service from our partner, Save 5 By paying some money, they will provide you with security fixes for additional five years. Uh, you can get in touch with them today and or tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. For explaining uh, the second way, I need to elaborate a bit. Yeah, Shopware 5. What a wild ride it was. We had fun with the core classes. <laughs> with Enlight. With hooks and dispatch events. And of course, 
our favorite JavaScript framework, XJS. Okay, let me now put the last years in some numbers. In Shopware 5, we have now uh, around 20,000 commits. We have uh, over 100,000 files changed. We added 3.8 million lines of code. And uh, we deleted 3.9 <laughs> million lines of code. So if you now wonder why we could uh, delete more code than we have added, uh, we started, of course, not from zero, but the base was Shopware 4. Then uh, GitHub told me that uh, 285 contributors uh, have worked on Shopware 5. Um, of course, <laughs> of course, uh, Shopware employees, but of course, uh, many, many people from your side, from the community. Until now, uh, we have processed almost 2,500 pull requests. Of course, we could not merge every single one, but uh, most of them. And not to forget our extension store, our plugin store, uh, until now, we have almost 7.5 million downloads of plugins for Shopware 5. Yeah, now the party is over. But before we coming to the second way of keeping Shopware alive, uh, let me tell you a short story first. So, for those who don't know me, let me introduce myself. Well, yes, uh, while preparing the slides, I thought about that. Uh, do I even need that? Marketing announced me as legend. Do legends need an introduction? <laughs> no, just uh, joking. <laughs> so this is me. Uh, as I said before, eight years ago at the uh, movie tour in Münster. Yeah, since then I barely changed, still good looking. <laughs> uh, yeah, my name is Michael Telkman. Um, but most of you know me under my nickname, Telgi. Uh, I'm with Shopware almost, for almost 10 years now. And uh, since then, most of the time, I develop PHP stuff. So, I was there when Shopware 5 was released to this wonderful world. And I will be there when the era of Shopware 5 ends. Wait. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean to me? Yes, I am and will be sad, of course. But looking back, um, it was an awesome time. And if someone would ask me, why did you stick with Shopware for so long? One of the answers would be you, the community. I met a lot of nice people and my first contact was when I, was, when I started with developer trainings. Um, I really like to show how to work with Shopware. Um, and thanks to Corona, this uh, does not happen uh, anymore, but maybe it will again in the future. Uh, anyhow, believe it or not, I was not always passionate uh, in staying in front and telling something. Uh, in school, I was uh, really bad at giving presentation for history, biology, you name it. But uh, yeah, someday, Nögel or Marcel, I can't remember, came to me and said, hey, Telgi, you want to give developer trainings? Uh, must I? <laughs> uh, yes, you can do it. Next Wednesday is the day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, okay, uh, I immediately started to uh, look at all the stuff um, 
I had a look at the tests. Uh, you, mem you remember what is smarty, a suite? Uh, or what is the difference between hooks and events? Some of you might remember those questions. But uh, fortunately, my first training um, as a teacher was together with Oli. Uh, he did all the stuff, and I noted everything down and uh, tried to remember it for my next training. Then after a while, uh, I, to I hold my first training alone. Uh, I felt well prepared because uh, I gave some trainings with other colleagues in that time. But then, the introduction round. Uh, first persons were like, uh, yeah, we are doing Shopware for a year now, uh, or we just started with Shopware 5. Uh, yeah, cool. I can handle those people. But then, there was this person like, uh, yeah, we are working with Shopware since version 3. And I was like, oh, Taggy, don't f this up. <laughs> yeah, for those who can't, uh, uh, or for those who don't know, this means this person worked for about five years longer with Shopware than me. But everything went well. Um, until one of the attendees asked a question which I couldn't answer directly. And as usual, I said, yeah, yeah, I will look that up and came back to you later. Um, and then now the person uh, who was working with Shopware for so long uh, shows up and says, hey, I can answer that. And I was like, oh, nice. Yeah, please go ahead. And suddenly, I was no longer the one teaching. <laughs> Instead, I also learned something new. And I could use this new knowledge in the next trainings to make them better. So instead of just sitting there and waiting for the test to get the new certificate, uh, this person helped out everyone else uh, by answering that question. That was super cool. So this is just one example why I love this community so much. Everyone tries to help the others to give their best. Thank you for being part of this community. It's awesome that you are still here for Shopware 6. So, but if you are new, great. Now you know something about Shopware history. So, finally coming back to the second way, how we want to keep alive uh, Shopware 5 alive. Because this is where you come into play. We are currently working on moving all repositories to a new organization on GitHub. We are also working on a new development process. Uh, every pipeline that runs now internally in GitLab, in our GitLab instance, uh, will be migrated to a GitHub action. So soon, even we want to develop on GitHub directly. In the future, the auto updater will get the releases directly from GitHub. Change logs and zip files will only be available on the release page on GitHub. So, in the end, <laughs> our goal is to make everything around Shopware 5 as independent as possible from Shopware as company. We want to release it to the wild. But why are we doing this? Yeah, one of Shopware core values is openness. So why should we keep Shopware 5 after our support ends under key and lock? There will be many um, shops running. Uh, there are still many shops running on Shopware 5, and by, for various reasons, 
like the migration needs more time or the migration is now uh, too expensive. And with moving all the code to a new independent organization, we want to give those people the possibility to keep Shopware 5 up and running. So, how this all will be going is totally up to you. Will this place be a museum for some old piece of code? Or will it really be used to keep Shopware 5 alive and active? So, if you're interested in becoming a maintainer or if you have any other question about Shopware 5, please contact me. I'm uh, active on Mastodon and still on that little bird platform. And of course, you can reach me out for me in the community Slack. Shopware 5 is not dead. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>